The SRU have got involved with the Aberdeen University group and basically the group here are looking at nerve regeneration and why is that important to us? Unfortunately we are in a sport where accidents do happen. Fortunately catastrophic accidents are, are rare but when injury occurs to nerve we have a real problem. Um, these guys at Aberdeen University are looking to address that problem. They're looking at how the nerves may be helped to regenerate and to overcome these serious, very serious injuries. The project here, um, it would appear, is unique in that um, the various components to the project, nobody else is doing precisely what they're doing here. Indeed, I'm not a scientist, but I'm absolutely over, overawed by the uh, work that they're doing here, where they're using a silk scaffold, they're using silkworms to weave their magic, and then they're using various chemical modalities and electrical stimulation to combine with that scaffolding, as you were, in order to bridge the gap between um, the various nerve endings that are damaged in injury. So in layman's terms, if there is a, an injury to the spine, the signal from the, the brain to the, to the area of the injury is basically shut off. Yeah, basically short-circuited and these guys at, uh, at the university are endeavouring to, to circumvent that short circuit as it were and uh, in order to get the signal across the gap that exists in injury. Okay, we're joined now by uh, two of the doctor's key figures in the Aberdeen Nerve uh, Repair Group. Uh, Anne and Wenlong. Anne, if you can explain to, to people, uh, it is very complex work that you're doing, but, but the, the complexity is required because of the complex nature of, of spinal cord injury. That's, that's right. The spinal cord injury is a multi-stage process. So initially, when there's an injury, the nerves might be damaged, but then they tend to die away. So over time, you end up with a cyst that forms a large hole and then around that cyst becomes a scar tissue. And then the scar tissue itself is impregnated with molecules that prevent axons and nerves from growing back into that region. So in order to repair the, the electrical conduction, which is the, the, um, made by the nerves across the injury site, you need to get the axons to regrow from one side to the other. And so our idea is to look at how we can maximize nerve growth using a combination of different cues. We use scaffold as a bridge uh, to encourage injured nerve cells to regrow through that gap, to reconnect with uh, the, the, the nerve tissues uh, below the, the level of injury. So the scaffold uh, we're developing is a novel silk-based biomaterial, and uh, it has excellent uh, uh, me mechanical properties. As, as you can imagine, our nerve tissues, especially central nerve system tissue, they are very soft, you know, very, very uh, fragile. So you need to have some uh, biomaterial that suitable for that particular nerve tissue. And silk, silk has been used for centuries for uh, sutures, as you know, and in different areas, even in neurosurgery has been used, so it's very suitable for nerve tissues. These sort of cases are rare, but uh, as a pro, it's important to know that you have got this sort of safe net behind you and that this sort of research is going on and that people are sort of indirectly looking, looking out for you if it was to happen. Um, and the, sort of this research and everything that's happening here is going to be sort of going to really good cause, yeah. Athletes are always acutely aware of their, their bodies. That's it. Yeah. You know, that's there. That's that's why they're where they are. Yeah. So, how much of you, you know, takes note of what's going on from a medical point of view with the way that your career progresses? Um, so, you, pro you you probably sort of um, underestimate the amount of work that goes in sort of on the medical front, particularly when you're sort of not injured. But when you are injured, you really sort of get a real understanding about how much goes into it and how important it is for this, from a medical point of view. The people that sort of essentially get you back fit. So, yeah, it's crucial really, but you don't really always see it, but when you are injured you certainly appreciate it.